Hi. So I don't know if you can hear me because I've got I've got air plugs in, so I'll take them out. Uh, yeah, so um, money here, not with a woodworking video, just a kind of um, a kind of a reinforced pedagogic learning opportunity. Um, so in the last video, you know, it was a, a kind of a, a, a viewer's question thing. A lot of people getting in touch saying, you know, how do you make? How are you able to, um, you know, make really quick decisions about animals? You know, what what informs your decision making? Uh, with animals and we learned about kind of um, a, a small animal event, a medium animal event, um, large animal event and I talked through some of the questions that you ask yourself when you are in those uh, kind of the different animal events. Obviously the first one is how big is this animal? Um, and then you, uh, then obviously you go to those questions uh, that I ask intuitively and like kind of simultaneous at uh, uh, a subconscious level but you can practice this as we saw um, uh, yeah so this is a, how big is this animal this is a small animal this is a small animal event and then the question so um, obviously last in the last video we'd learned that but all the animals that I found um, were dead so it wasn't a kind of a you know not all animals will be dead if you if you see them so I was just walking past here um, you know kind of just checking checking up on things and I saw an animal and so I thought what I'd do is I'd film it and this will give you an opportunity to to practice some of the things that we've learned about <clears throat> you know some of the the questions that we ask ourselves when when we encounter an animal and you know after we've established its size and then you know what then what page you go to for the questions that you sh should ask yourself of and sometimes of the animal if it's a bigger one um ask of yourself to establish um decisions quickly about that animal so um okay i'll help i'll give you a hint okay can you see that there right so i'm not going to ask you the questions but i will ans ask answer the first question okay so this i'd look at that that's just well, it's fairly obvious that that's small. So this is a small animal event. So um, I'm just going to leave this filming here. Let's get a bit closer because you can maybe maybe you need to see its uh, like a body language or fa uh, facial expressions, so you're you know better informed as to its intentions. I can't really, I can't. Maybe I'll freak, hang on. Let me. I'll, I'll I'll take a picture of it, and then it, I will give you like um. Now remember, decision making about animals should. Oh, oh fuck! There's two. Okay, that's a bit more. Uh, imagine that second one wasn't there because that that does change the questions you ask in a in a small. There's there's that's actually quite a lot of wildlife here. So, wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, anyway, so this uh, you know already we know this is a small animal event, um, and if it, if it goes to one side and we lose it, what I'll do is I'll just freeze frame it. I'm going to give you two minutes to kind of try and remember some of those questions um, that are important to ask um, when making decisions about animals. Okay, normally this would happen in less than a second, but I'll, um, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just film it for about two minutes, or you know, if it dis if it goes somewhere else, then I'll, I'll freeze frame it. So, it, I'll, I'll also warn you if I'm freeze framing it because it might look dead, and then obviously you'd, you'd realise, well, this isn't. You know the final question is this a threat is this animal a threat to me or or others or to itself i've lost it anyway i'll take a picture um and you've got two minutes I think so it's an opportunity to practice um good luck hi sorry uh i forgot to say let me just take these out because uh, obviously you need to be able to hear this. So, um, yeah, what I forgot to say is I'm um, at the end of the video, there will be the answers. So um, we're going to go, uh, I'll do a freeze frame, but it's not dead. OK, so imagine it's alive. Um, if, if you're, um, so pause it, OK, because obviously like long content is not good. Um, so what I'm going to do, like pause it until you think you've got all the answers and then unpause it um, and then um, you'll get the answers, you know? Because if there's one thing uh, m like more frustrating than um, 
uh, kind of like like bureau bureaucracy it's um really wanting to know like the answers to something and and then you know it being a right pain in the ass to you know find out um and that's how people lose their enthusiasm for learning and um yeah so i just thought i'd, I'd you know just uh okay let's get back to the quiz Uh, yeah, sorry. Obviously, you wouldn't have that much time to make a decision in uh, the real world. It's uh, you know, this is a, you know, it's a simulation, isn't it? But you, it would be instantaneous. Um, so also, I kind of lost track of the the time because there's a, a new couple that moved into the village over there, and there was a, like a small. I don't think it wasn't on their property. It was like kind of down the road, and uh, I mean, I don't know how they know to call me, but they yeah. So that, I got a phone call and said, "Can I just quickly?" go out and risk assess a small fire for them but it's you know it's it's fine uh, it's probably i mean it's probably gone out by now um yeah so you wouldn't have that much time in the real world um um so the quiz is stopped put down uh like put down your pens and papers um and then we're gonna we'll see the animal again uh just to kind of um can't change your answers but you it, you might think oh god that yeah and then and then we'll see the answers okay uh yeah that yeah it should be okay